Welcome back everyone. You're watching all the BO no idea. Baz is back with another review for you. Now we are heading off to County Durham and S43 Brewery and we've got a can of their Wag Me and it's a double dry hopped pale ale coming in at 5.1% in a 440ml can. Got it direct from S43. Uh, I think the original price was over £4 or £4.50 but I got 25% off so if it was four quid it come in at three quid if it was 450 it come in at about three pound 35. Now on the back it's saying it was canned on June the 22nd this year best before February 22nd next year. The hops are Meridian, Azaka, Eldorado, Cryo and Simcoe. The malt is Marisotta, Oats, Wheat, Vienna, Dextrin and the yeast is London Ale 3. So we've got the glass at the ready. Let's get it cracked open, see what we get. Took it out of the fridge about 10 minutes ago. That's how long it's taken me to actually get going on this video. <laughs> but you know Bazza always makes a hash of, hash of things, doesn't he? Hope you're all well. It's a little bit warmer today where I am. We've even got a little bit of sun popping through, so that's good. There's still a little bit left in the can, but beer in a the glass. There's a few floaty yeasty bits in there. It smells real, wow, real strong sort of orange juice sort of aroma already. Uh, but it looks like orange juice, uh, chicken stock if you like. We've got half a finger of white on top. So let's dive in, try and give it a swirl without uh, spilling it everywhere. I do need to learn not to fill the glass so much. Let's dive in with the nose anyway. Oh, it's got something different there. It's not, I'm not sure it is orange. It sort of feels like orange, orange squash, a, a weak orange squash a bit. It's a nice hop aroma for starters. But it's tropical. That's what it is. It's not so much the orange, it's, it's just the all round tropical sort of aroma. And that's about it. it. Smells like tropical squash. Hoppy, hoppy tropical squash. There we go. So let's give the rest of the can, or get the rest of the can in there. Give it a swirl and get the rest of it in there. Oh my God, there is some right cluster fucks in there. <laughs> Look at the state of that. Can you see that? My God, there's a major yeasty, yeastage going on, shall we say. Anyway, it is what it is. Let's dive in, give it a go. Cheers. Okay. I reckon if I actually stirred all that up, it would certainly change the beer, which I may well do in a bit. I don't know, I may do. 5.1%, body's medium, I would say, well it's, it's pretty, it's a pretty good body but I would say it's medium for what S43 do, it is only 5.1, quite busy in the mouth, recarbonation, certainly by their standards, uh, I think their stronger ones tend to be a lot less carbonated and a, and a lot smoother. This one isn't as smooth as some of their others. Or as soft. But I suppose that's going to make it, certainly the, the body not being so heavy is going to make it more drinkable. Taste wise. It's juicy. Now I've drunk a bit of it. That bitterness is getting stronger. It's quite a, a bitter little number. I would say I'm getting, I mean the usual sort of suspects really sort of tropical notes. It's very much pineapple bitterness I'm gonna say. It's got passion fruit in there. There's a little bit of grapefruit bitterness. A little bit of a, 
a piney resinous bitterness as well going through that. Just do the screen again. Yeah, it's very much sort of a, a tropical pale ale. Flavours are quite bold though, to be fair. It's not one of them sort of like light flavoured uh, tropical sort of beers. The flavours are quite punchy in there. Tropical with some pine notes going through. The resinous and the bitterness is getting more and more the more you drink it. 5.1%. As I always say, and I'll repeat myself again, that bitterness, the more you get the bitterness, the more I feel it sort of makes it feel stronger. But generally, when you drink it, 5.1 is about right for this. Obviously, there's no burn. If you get burn off a 5.1% beer, you either have an issue or that beer is absolutely shocking. Drinks really well though, and I do actually quite like that. That's quite nice. I've had a few beers that have been a little bit lighter than what you'd expect, and uh, I've actually enjoyed them. I've actually enjoyed them. Normally I would maybe knock them, but I've actually quite enjoyed a few lighter ones recently. Uh, it's a decent drop. It's a decent drop. It, you know, there's so many pale ales, so many beers with tropical notes in that it doesn't set your world alight from that perspective but it is a decent beer it is well made uh so yeah s43's wag me double dry hopped pale ale i think it's a decent drop obviously all these beers have slightly different tastes in and levels of that taste uh you know most people i think will like it but There'll be some that maybe don't like it, but that's that's how it goes. So I'm going to stop waffling now because I'm chatting shit. S43 wag me. Yeah, I like it. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. If you haven't had it, but you've got it in the fridge, give it a go. Give it a go. Thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again soon on another one. Cheers.